for them jackasses Doggy serenade Fuck your critics always sipping on the hater raid You can't hold me back even with the barricade Never will they stop me from shining like a pair of shades Guts and boo rally we some renegades I let my beats well done make a marinade Sizzle off the stove top Make the shit hot Fuck what you cooking it belongs in a crock pot Chefing up the marvelous They tried to market us Feed them with the hunger Yo what's up welcome to God Bars Volume 4 Round 1 of the tournament Saga make some fucking noise yeah. I'm your host Fata Follow me on Twitter at it's Mr. Saga Follow the league at God Bars BL uh, shout out to some of our sponsors, Maple Scissor. They got a t-shirt for the winner of this battle and for every battle the whole night. Uh, they got us decked out in some nice gear. Uh, shout out to Riot Studios. They got uh, two tickets for the Beat Nuts for whichever lady in this bitch can fucking shake their ass the nicest. Uh, um, <laughs> you know what I mean? We got uh, AMG got some beats uh, for a couple winners. We got $50 cash for each person participating in the battle of the night. So, uh, you know what I mean? That's how we do it here. Uh, without any further, uh, Limelight Studios, I keep forgetting these guys. Limelight Studios for filming the shit. Uh, if I forgot you, I'm sorry. Without any further ado, this is a tournament battle, by the way. Winner of this battle moves on to round two, April 19th. And they'll be battling uh, another opponent and trying to get one step closer to becoming the champion of the league. The first champion of the league. First time. Without any further ado, man, to my right, introduce yourself. Hello, I am Graham. You know who I am, repping Simcoe. That's all I'm going to say. All right, yo, and on my left. Hey, it's surreal. Yo, I'm repping Streetscape Sounds, Kush Clothing. Shout outs to EOA Fam, Northern Union. Happy birthday, Del Rezzi. Yeah, I just want to say, man, that this matchup is sad to me. So I agree for me, this is just a formality. Jeez. Let's go, though, you know what I mean? All right. So, uh, he said he was cool going first. Yeah? Hey, yo, they didn't have to do a coin toss. L.A.M. Graham was cool with him going first. So it's night. Uh, tournament battles are 90 seconds. I hope y'all fucking remember that shit. Uh, so it's 90 seconds on L.A.M. Graham when you're ready, bro. Everyone hold it the fuck down, please. All right. Justin McNair, the London MC who rips off Slim Shady with no fucking care. <laughs> Justin, how do you dare? This saga stage is my temporary lair to bomb you beyond repair and impair. Rude. And leave your whole fucking body broken with no wheelchair, dude. You see, the reason I'm not saying this faggot's name is because there's nothing surreal about him. He's just a lame fucking dame. You make me sicker than if I was witnessing the zombie of Saddam Hussein stroking his main vein on a public Delta A airplane. Neanderthal, you think you can ball? You look thicker than Patrick Star absorb come like a sponge when you bob for knob? Good fucking job. How many crusty crabs did you contract? Sucking all that crusty cock, making petty bank stack for crack. You fugly bozo. You look like the offspring of sloth from the Goonies meets Notre Dame's Quasimodo. Did you hear that your mom sucked the dick of Frodo? Yeah, this skinny white hobbit. I mean me. She sucked that dick hungrily. She tried to say that she loved me, but I was balls deep, so it came out kinda mumbly. But, yo, anyways, so. <laughs> One second, all right, so I know I'm fucking whiter than Wonder Bread, but someone, please tell me, who let in the gimp from 300? Give a fuck what you have to say, man. Like, you don't want this shit, like your neighborhood police station. I hit your mom's pussy last night, had me fucking creaming and glazing. But anyways, I'm fucking baked like a Haitian, but let me say some shit right now. So, your mom, she was fucking sucking my tongue. <laughs> I choked, I choked. God damn it. Ah, fuck. Fuck. All right, yo. All right, yo. Hold it down. I choked. Fuck. All right, yo. Hold it down, hold it down. Round one on uh, Surreal. Effing, bro. This guy came far, yo. Hold it the fuck down, man. This guy came from yeah. London, yo. You want to know why he's not a soldier? Why? Because he wouldn't give his life to the war. Man, I would leave you frightened and sore like I was striking with the lightning of Thor. Mm. Bro, I'll bring the fight to your door like I was strangling Michael Orr with the microphone cord to make him choke even more. Oh. You? Shots fired. You're not the sharpest knife in the drawer. <laughs> See, I make the crowd go hype like the London Knights when they score, but like back in 09 with Sidney Crosby still on the floor, you know, I'm feeling the force like off the windowsill with this porch. Corpse <laughs> to watch him fall now. Floors to the porch tend to store all laid out like he's finally posing for source. <laughs> <laughs> Liam Graham, are you secretly Peter Pan? 
<laughs> now look at him, he's like, whatever, man. I'm 40, you know, you can't grow old in Neverland. <laughs> you need to work on better raps because the fabric of your rhyme scheme, I choose to wipe my ass. Bro, now I refuse to fight you back. It's not because I'm scared to lose, because I'm scared as noodle cracks. A little poodle when he snaps, I'd kick you like a field goal and get three points for doing that. <laughs> for real though, because first it was Michael Orr, then it was Kid Fable, well now it's Liam Graham. Dog, you'd have to fake a seizure right now just to keep some fans. I'm going deep, I'll keep breaching, I'll breach in his penal gland and put him to sleep. Cause in his dreams is where he can still be the man. You know what I mean? But in waking life, you're dead weight, getting raped on the stage tonight. Yeah, I came to fight, but he'll be leaving afraid and praying to Christ. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding though, you know, I want to make his nerves shake. Cause how am I gonna host a battle if I beat him in the nurse aid? If I wanted to though, I'd beat him in the worst way. So in a decade, they still rebuilding your face like from Haitian earthquakes. <laughs> time, 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 time. All right, yeah. Start a battle. Start. All right, yo. This tournament shit. This is tournament yeah. shit, y'all. This is worthy of tournament shit. All right, yo, round two on LIM Graham. Alright, hold it down. Alright, hold it down, please. Alright, so, fuck this faggot that thinks he's D12 and passionate. I'll slap him with the same condom I used on his aunt, and then choke him with it. You see, if we were truly famous, you'd be Paul Walker, I'd be Nelson Mandela. Give a fuck if you're more famous and well-known than me, dog. I'll leave you toasted and ass first on your brand new car antenna. Leave up. Oh. Run over your man's It's Ender One with a neighborhood Jetta. You fucking started this vendetta and there ain't no white boy better. Spread your grandma's leg like butter. I had that fucking pussy tighter and snugger than that bullshit she knit you for Christmas. Yeah, the sweater. I had her up all night screaming, there's no one better. Her voice was kind of coarse, though, because she was throating this young, hung, handsome buck. Whoa. Oh, by the way, you said the mohawk had to go. Well, there you go. Not my fucking hair, just some pubic hair, courtesy of Mrs. McNair. Oh. Drop his ass, kick his dick back through his ass, and drop him five stories up to land on a chair. So his dick can get up there with his head. It's pretty far up there anyways. My verbal AK has got several ways to spray. Fuck this brash fag. I run him over with a car till his mug's full of multiple tire treads looking like multiple hashtags before stuffing the remains in a duffel bag after stuffing his ass with 50 frags. <laughs> with 50 frags. But, I'm uh, fucking choking again in round two. What the fuck are you gonna do? God damn it. Time. <laughs> Alright, yo. That's uh, round two on him. So, round two on uh, Surreal when you're ready, bro. This whole next round's on your mohawk, bro. <laughs> what am I gonna do? <laughs> Round two on Surreal when you're ready, man. He gets a restart. Liam Graham. <laughs> Graham, yo. Every fucking day, I smoke a gram in one joint. Bro, and I don't even pass it when I have to prove a point. Like, Liam, he's not winning here tonight. It's Graham versus 180 pounds. He couldn't weigh up to the fight. I put that spark into his brain to make him hype. I'll open up his mind so y'all could see his inner light. Jeez. But what I'm saying is, I'll put your brains into the ground to match the level of intelligence projected through your sound. You know, <laughs> yo, you guys know, this guy's not in control of what's funny about him. People only laugh at what you say because you act so fucking gay. Bro, over <laughs> half of what you say is just imagined up in fate. Now, I'd slap you in the face, but you crack in half and break. <laughs> Bro, you need to focus on the track. Maybe even do a feature. My tracks have long-term effects like radiation from Fukushima. See, people sitting on the couch and they think about the shit I speak of, well, they never see him out because he's scared of having seizures. Yo, this guy should wear a warning on his t-shirt. Something that reads like, retarded people frequently need a nurse, followed by his mom's phone number so they could reach her first. <laughs> I grow. If I had your mom's phone number, I would speak to her sweet at first. Not sneak in a couple freaky words until she reached the courage to let me beat it to a stretched in her bro i'd ski inside to quench her thirst and when she's asleep to make it worse i'd thief her most expensive purse <laughs> i don't know why you want to play in this game when you're about as fly as a malaysian plane you're completely off the radar tell <laughs> Round three on LIM, yeah, this guy's comical as shit. <laughs> Round three on LIM Graham when you're ready, yo. 
Yeah. Alright. So you actually look like the dump I took this morning. <laughs> Change your profile pic on Facebook, dog. Stop ripping off Eminem. It's starting to get boring. Stuck two cocks and kick rocks. I'll hunt you down with five Black Hawk helicopters and then proceed to get brains from your mom's while she's cooking me up some lamb chops. A Major said he's the John Wayne of this league. Well, now I'm Bruce Wayne as I spit and breathe. But you ain't Bane. Try and break my back and see what happens, man. Even though I shaved my majestic mane, wasn't because I was intimidated. Just felt like taking a little weight off this brain. Give me a clear head while I maintain ND fame. This wannabe clownish dude. I want you to be more embarrassed after Kanye, let, well, than Kanye West after he dropped the video for Bound 2. What the fuck you gonna do when you come up to the womb? Raider in your girl's room. Giving her that good wit boom boom. Huffing and puffing worse than Darth Vader with a malfunctioning respirator on a treadmill inside a trailer on a downhill slant. Just like your career is. This guy's such a creepy faggot. He shows up to the club like, show me where the male rear is. The man, fuck peace treaties. Who pissed in this cat's Wheaties? I actually can't stand, I actually can't stand you no more. Not cause your bars, cause your face, I just can't stand looking at it no more. I've eaten bigger pussies before breakfast. Fuck this guy that actually thinks that he's reckless. Oh. Don't do that. <laughs> hold it down, hold it down, come on. Bro. I've eaten bigger pussies before breakfast. Fuck this guy that actually thinks that he's reckless. Step to this and I'll stomp on that. By that, I mean everything you love. Give a fuck about that. Get fatter to hit you with that rat -a -tat while Philly goes in with a billy bat. Actually, nah, not really. Handle my own conflicts. Pop off ten shots before this trick, here's the hammer click. Fucking skinny white Scottish roster tossing up this faggot like I was just straining pasta. You may think you're the big dog, bitch, but I'm the Lion King. Make room for Mufasa. He won anyways. Bro. Okay, <laughs> third and final round of the whole battle. It's uh, 90 seconds on Surreal when he's ready. Hold it down, this is the last round of the battle. Let's go, hold it down. Okay, man. Yo, you're never gonna see me rap like you, cause your style's whack. I would rather change my name to MC Cataract and give that style back. You know what I mean? Yo, you're just a fan of battle rapping and you're battling a battle rapper, so you might sound like the man when no one's talking, but then you sound like a fucking sham the moment after. Bro, I'm here to close another chapter with this joke of a fucking rapper. He knows I'm gonna snap, he just hopes that it's not a disaster. Kinda was when you ah. fucked up, man, you know what I mean? Bro. <laughs> I seen mistake. you come your hardest, bro. I heard you plead your case. But how you coming at a sergeant trying to beat me at my game when you look like the fucking retarded son of MGK? <laughs> <laughs> it looks like some sort of defective genetic mutation has been fucking with your life. I want to start a charity and donate all the proceeds from tonight to start a scientific study to find out why you would think you're hype. Because I have thousands of views across my YouTube and you are just a douche only wishes that you do too. You're ugly like a bruised fruit. Everything you do proves this is like a ripe apple taking out a loose tooth. <laughs> Except in his head because he's like, yo, I've been working on a masterpiece. And like, are we just supposed to believe you because you look like an actual beast? No, man. In reality, my savagery gives him a flaccid piece. Peace. And for those of you who don't know what flaccid means, I'll define it so y'all can laugh with me. Flaccid means a part of the body hanging loosely or limp so as to look or feel uncomfortable like a gimp. It's this guy. Hit the fucking hammer on the head. This flaccid rapper's getting cooked like passing out tanning beds. You fucking limp dink. Your rhymes suck too. Learn to lip sync. Puffy in the eyes the only time that he gets pink. So physically short to wash his hands, he needs a kid sink. <laughs> Yo, we're back with the judge's decision, so we started with him last time, we'll start with Mike Guts, yo, why not? Yeah. Alright, you know what it is, Mike Guts, freedom of speech, vote Mike Guts, all that good shit. Um, I'm gonna go 3-0 Surreal, uh, killed it with the bars, man, just slaughtered him, you know, he had more swag to it, so 3-0. Alright, yo, uh, Specs. Yeah, yo, Specs, Hack Head, Crack, you done know us, we eat beats in the place, we Specs is on the streets. Um, sick battle, you came harder than you did the first time, really nice, you know what I'm saying, no yeah. doubt. But you just took an L in this one too. 3 0 surreal, you know what I'm saying? Bars, but a sick battle, you know what I'm saying? Give it up. Rookie. Yeah. Alright, yo, and our third judge? Kush McLeod, most high. Uh, yo, the best battle I've seen Liam do. Word. Yeah. Hands down. Uh, even though I chose I, had, I didn't know he had bars like that, man. That was, that was the truth. <laughs> I do got to give it to Surreal, but by, by far. The yeah. best battle of Liam's there. Yeah. But Surreal yeah. killed it all yeah, the way he through. He did, he slaughtered me. <laughs> Alright, there's the battle. Surreal, he advances to round two of the tournament. Yeah. Yeah.